A groundbreaking law in California will give 40 million people the strongest internet privacy rights in U.S. history. It takes effect tomorrow. Many tech companies collect personal information, including birthdays, email addresses, and users' interests, without ever asking permission, and they earn big money selling it. Well, starting tomorrow, Californians will actually be able to limit what happens when their information is collected. John Blackstone shows us how the new law could affect all Americans. The familiar login page on many websites that asks for personal information will have something new on it beginning in the new year, at least if it's someone in California who is logging in. And one of the requirements of the California law is on the home page of your site that you actually display a button that says, do not sell my data. Chris Babel, CEO of data privacy company TrustArk, says consumers in California will have broad new control over data collected about them. As a consumer, I can come and ask you for my information. I could ask you to delete that information such that you purge it and you tell the people you've shared it with to purge. Or finally, I could ask you to not sell it to other parties and just kind of keep it to yourself. Many in the tech industry whose business models often depend on the collection of consumer data fought hard to stop the California Consumer Protection Act from becoming law. This is a story only in America. You know, one person being able to take on an industry. Alistair McTaggart was determined to win new protections for consumers by lobbying in the state capitol and funding a campaign to collect signatures for a ballot measure. It is an extraordinary uh, story, mostly about America and the ability to take on the world's most profitable, most powerful industry right now and be able to come up with meaningful reforms. Fortunately, you had the money to do it. I've read this cost you, what, more than $3 million? Mm -hmm. You know, I've been super fortunate in, in my life, and I, I do believe you have a duty to try to make the world better. Uh, McTaggart, a San Francisco area commercial real estate developer, got involved after learning just how closely big internet companies are tracking us. It makes everything more valuable if they know kind of everything about everybody. The companies tell us this is good for us, that it helps them provide us services. I don't know about you, I've never encountered a real life human being who comes to me and says, you know my big problem? I don't get enough relevant ads. California's attorney general is responsible for enforcing the law and companies may dispute its requirements. Facebook says its current privacy rules already comply with the new law, including its ban on selling user data. The company says it supports the new legislation. These are remarkable companies that have done remarkable things. I'm not at all a let's burn the house down kind of a person, but I do think that capitalism needs some rules, some rules of the road. And the rule should be that we, the people, have power over our own information. For now, the new protections apply only in California, but the state has 12% of the U.S. population and a few companies, including Microsoft, have said they will extend the same rights to all Americans. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco. Let's see if the federal government takes some cues from California. That's right.